reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there for you. So far to travel, so much to learn to know. Friends by your side, hopes to hold on to. Who knows how far you'll go? To a shining time station, where dreams can come true. Your own imagination waiting there for you. The China Clay Works is one of the busier industries on the island of Sodor, digging up China Clay for use in ceramics, cosmetics, paint, paper and medicines. Bill and Ben are the shunters for the China Clay Company, taking wagons to and from the Brendan Keys for the bigger engines to take to the mainland. They're a cheeky pair, always playing pranks on the other engines. Do you see what I see, Ben? I don't know, Bill. What do you see? I see a three-humped camel! Yeah, yeah, you two. Get back to work. The mines are small and narrow, meaning Bill and Ben can't go into the tunnels to help shunt the wagons. A diesel engine with a winch will pull the wagons out of the mines to a point so that the twins can couple up and pull them out. One day, the winch failed. We need that set of wagons out of the tunnel. Ben? We are going to attach a rope to you so you can pull it out. Let's do this then. They spent an hour pulling the trucks out of the mine shaft, stopping every few meters to shorten the length of rope and Ben to run forward a bit. Finally, the wagons were out of the tunnel. We need something better than this. Those winches are breaking down too often. What about a narrow gauge, Loco? They are tiny enough. Ah, that would cost too much money to lay new track. Actually, that's given me an idea. A few days later, Edward stopped near the sidings used by the twins with a new loco on a flatbed. Be careful with those two. They can be very cheeky and play pranks. Don't you worry. I can hold me own. Good luck. The workman lifted her off the flatbed with a crane just as Bill came into the yard with some full trucks. Hello Edward, what are you doing here? Dropping off some help. Bill saw the little engine and laughed. <laughs> Who squished you then? Bill! Who made you fat then? Bill was shocked. I'm not fat. And I'm not squashed. I was built this way. Why would someone build such a small engine? to get where you tall engines can't. Now if you don't mind, I would like to get to work. Bill buffered up to the little engine and pulled it to the tiny clay pits. Ben was working further in the yard and didn't see the little engine put into the shed. Bill rolled up, giggling. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> have, we have some help. Where? It's a pancake engine. Oh, <laughs> what? 
Over in the sheds, you'll see. And he steamed away. Soon, Ben saw steam rising from the shed and went to investigate. Ha ha ha! My, my, you are a pancake engine. You made that joke already. My brother did. Brother? Yep. I'm Ben, he's Bill. And I'm Sonny. I can't wait to work. This looks like a fun little yard. <laughs> You're used to little jobs, I bet. You're not much bigger than me, Stumpy. Stumpy? Bill rolled up to get some coal. Listen here, you two. I'm here to work. I'm just as strong as either of you. Now, if you excuse me, I have some shunting to do. Why? she's angry. Short temper for a short engine. Sunny started to shunt around the yard. And every time she tried to take a bigger load, one of the twins would intercept her. Out the way, short stack! Careful, Mousy. Don't want to burst a piston. Her pressure built in her boilers the twins kept her from doing her job. Soon the twins had a long train of trucks to take to the docks. They struggled to get the train going. Come on, Ben, put your frames into it. Says you, open your regulator. Sonny watched and then decided to help. Buffering up to the back, she pushed with all her strength and got the train moving. That's better, Bill. Told you you needed more puff. Says you, you need more power. Shut it, you two, and let's be on time. <laughs> what was that squeaking? I didn't know we had a brake fan. The two chuckled as they pulled the train. Sonny stayed on the back, pushing them along. They got to the docks where Boko was waiting. Hello, you... Th three? Oh, you must be Sunny. Edward told me about you. Hello, I'm new to the island. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, I love shunting. It's what I was made for. Those two aren't giving you too much trouble, are they? Not that I can't handle. Hi there. Welcome to the island, little missy. I be salty. What a funny name. Ah, it be for me working by sea and always covered in sea salt. Salty runs the harbour here. Anything you need, let him know. Just don't let him tell stories. He tells as old as time. And take a long time. Go sing a shanty. There once was a ship that put to sea The name of the ship was the Billy of Tea The winds blew up her bows get down Oh blow my boys, boys blow Soon may the well of man come To bring this sugar and tea and rum One day when the tongue is done We'll take our leave and go She had not been two weeks and so We're down on the right elbow I'm surprised you're not out of breath then again, you don't have much strength in that tiny frame. She's probably out of water. Do you need help, Mousy? Sonny just wheezed at them and stormed away sad. You two are horrible. You know that? She's here to help you and I heard her working hard to get here. If this is how you two treat guests, then I'm shocked and disappointed in you both. We were only teasing. Yeah, she called us names. But did she question your strength? Or your abilities? The two sat quiet for a moment. I thought not. You two best go apologise to her, before I tell your controller what you've been up to. The twins sadly steamed away. Back at the mine. Sonny was shunting a wagon to be winched down into a tunnel. Careful! 
They've got explosives in. I will. They hooked the truck to the winch and slowly lowered it down the tunnel. Then there was trouble. The rope on the winch frayed and snapped. Look out! The truck raced into the mine. There was a loud explosion and the ground shook. Ooh, I don't like that. That's not all we have to worry about. We have people down there. Bill and Ben soon appeared and saw the smoke coming out of the tunnel. What happened? The rope gave way. The truck full of explosives ran away down the tunnel. What? What do we do now? We'll have to call for mountain rescue teams. You two won't fit in there. Sunny still had an empty wagon in front of her. She took a deep breath and charged forward. Sunny! She disappeared into the smoke and dust. What was she thinking? She'll be squashed if that roof caves in. The foreman had gone to call for help and came back. Where is Sunny? In there! She what? The emergency workers arrived and soon they heard a whistle. Sunny emerged from the smoke and in her truck were the miners. Sonny, are you okay? What were you thinking? Well, I had to do something. <coughs> Can't leave people down there in danger. Thankfully, we heard the trucks coming down and shake down an old mine shaft. None of us are hurt. Would have gotten lost in there if we lass hadn't come looking for us. You have a very brave engine, that's for sure. I'll make sure you have a new coat of paint for this. Bill and Ben smiled at Sonny. We are sorry for how we spoke to you, Sonny. Yeah, we didn't mean to upset you. It's okay. Just remember this girl is just as strong as you, if not stronger. The three engines laughed and got to work clearing up. The roof was reinforced and Sonny was able to go into the mines and help pull out the rubble. She was sent off to the works for a good clean out and some of the dust had clogged up her pipes. She came back in a matching yellow just like the twins. Hello little sister! Ben laughed. The three still joke about and play pranks on each other, but they know when to stop now and when a joke has gone too far. Be careful in there Pancake! You too Stubby! Reach for the wind, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the song, Reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun To a shining time station Where dreams can come true Waiting there for you So much to see, so far to travel So much to learn to know Friends by your side, hopes to hold on to Who knows how far we'll go To a shining time station Where dreams can come true Your own imagination's waiting there Waiting there for you, waiting for you.